Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's for a Living here. Thanks for watching my videos. And it is Tuesday, June the 6th of 2017. And I thought I would uh, update you about my garden. And also show you the snake skin. An update on the snake <laughs> that I almost grabbed. So, anyways, um, this is my pear tree. And it's pretty tall. And it's got a lot of pears on it, so that's pretty nice. I have eaten pears off of this tree. I planted it when I moved into my house, so I'm amazed it's, it gives me pears, but I'll lose most of them. And uh, I planted this apple tree, too. Now, I haven't ever eaten any of the apples on here, <laughs> and, uh, um, but... <laughs> oh, there's my neighbor's dogs. <laughs> so, um, anyways, they... Uh, uh, don't. It's, it's only the second time that he, that it's produced any um, apples. But I thought I'd show you my garden here. Oh, the poor pathetic garden. There is a plant here. Here's my tomato plant. <laughs> There's one over there. But past the weed. But it's hard to see because, oh, I haven't been dedicating any time to my garden at all. And we have had so much rain since I first planted this at when I made my last video about my garden and um, it was uh, about three weeks ago maybe four weeks ago almost four weeks I guess since I planted this and you can see I mowed my grass tonight and I mowed over part of my garden but I have a little tiller so I'm gonna try and get that out and see if it'll till up this ground we've had so much rain it was just like water standing back here I'm surprised any of these are still alive but um, yeah some of the tomatoes actually put little flowers on already. Um, and I had a, a mole plow through my garden. But my some of my pepper plants are looking pretty good. And some of them, that one looks really pathetic. But it's actually got a pepper growing on it already. And, um, and these have buds. And look, I got um, little teeny jalapenos right there. And on that one. And uh, this one also. And so at least I'll get some jalapenos and I don't know if my bell peppers will turn into anything. I do want to plant some more, but I haven't bothered because it's been, it had been so raining and then I got so busy doing other stuff. Here's my cucumber out here and I can't even believe it's still alive, but because the last time I looked at it, it looked really pathetic, but I'm not sure if it's going to survive. It's got a couple of blooms on it, which is really odd for it to, but then again, our um, weather has been very odd. Um, the the um, lettuce never it didn't come up but those were really old seeds I knew when I planted them so I wasn't sure and then we had all that rain right after it so I'm not surprised it didn't come up but check out my kohlrabis and they're actually little teeny kohlrabis on there already on them all of them so those still look pretty good although that one looks like it had a bug on it so anyways I definitely need come out here and uh, uh, get to hoeing <laughs> to get rid of some of these weeds out here. <laughs> Anyways, um, stay tuned and I'll show you a little clip I did of um, the snake skin from the snake that, <laughs> that I almost grabbed. <laughs> Alright, um, that's all for now. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so you guys might remember me mentioning how I almost grabbed a snake a couple of weeks ago when I was cleaning up some stuff in my yard. And today my man uncovered the snake skin so you can see how long. And this is um, all bunched up. So this piece is probably almost three feet long. And then, I don't know, there's probably that much more here that's all bunched up in its head. But um, yeah, he was pretty sizable. But I haven't encountered him again since then, which is good. <laughs> 